Hi Pisces, welcome to your 2023 year ahead forecast. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle, this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Pisces, I urge you if you haven't already, if you're watching this in December, to go back and uh, take a look at the December read on YouTube. But that being said, this is a complete read, so let's get started. I said I was going to pull a new spirit animal for you for the year, so I'm going to do that. Uh, Pisces, let's see. The eagle. I like that. Yeah. In uh, December, I had you there listening to your instincts, listening to your intuition when it comes to a person around you who may have been uh, hiding something, playing games, being secretive. But with the eagle, the eagle sees all. The eagle is about mastery. Uh, this is a spirit as well. This is soaring above, being guided by the winds of spirit and wisdom. So let's see where this is going for you because we've got this, this broken heart energy, Pisces, with the three of wands in reverse. Now, it's about expectations. You know, when expectations are not met, we become uh, heartbroken, disillusioned. We experience pain and uh, disappointment, of course. So I see, I see something happening here in the recent past, which has created pain and disappointment for you, Pisces. But I see you rising above that. Now, I've got you here with this storm warning card with the Hermit. And the Hermit's coming up as this, uh, this reversed energy. So when we talk about um, this storm warning energy, I feel like you were warned. Well, Spirit of Saints, that December read, you were warned. You were warned about this. You were warned about uh, something approaching, a potential difficulty. And it, it was in your emotional life. And I feel that whatever this, this problem was that's around you the caution was coming in for you to be conscious of it yet not fearful to consider what's going on to look at the situation with calm clarity to investigate your options honor yourself and your intentions stand up for yourself take action on your own behalf and this and then the storm will pass Always remember that you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever comes your way. Yes. Now, the good news is that I feel that that energy is beginning to fall away. You can take heart that sunny skies, better times are on the horizon. Now, you're in a period of reassessment and redirection. You may have had an expectation that something was going to go a certain way. It didn't pan out. And you're having to go back to the drawing board here to consider your next actions, where you want to go next. With the Hermit in reverse, you're being urged to take some time to reflect on the difficulty that is passing. What was the lesson there? What was the lesson? And remember to bring intentions and the lessons learned into into your new path. Now you have the power to overcome this obstacle no matter what's going on with strength, with confidence and with direction. Now here we have the door to value with this Knight of Cups in reverse. So for a lot of you I feel that this is someone around you that you couldn't trust. This was this storm that came in, uh, somebody who was um, coming in under the guise of um, romantic love but really was not to be trusted. I do get a uh, somebody here who had their own interests of self-interest. It may have been a monetary interest as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Now it, it was whatever that was it, it wasn't of value. Uh, it's something that was disappointing, but whatever is being released here, whatever is 
exiting your life, it wasn't of value. No. It wasn't of value. Let's see, what is the financial cards for, uh, for Pisces, please, for 2023? Financial card for Pisces. The Great Nurturer. Yes, it, it feels like things of being of value to you, nurturing, things that are important. To give and receive nourishment. It's a very um, devoted, loving energy. Now, you're a very wise person, very empathic, a very compassionate soul. And uh, with this moon energy that you have around you, Pisces, people sometimes see you as vulnerable, uh, something to take advantage of. Because you're a generous, a beautiful soul, um, very emotional as well. Sometimes people read emotional people as vulnerable, which they really shouldn't. I get some of you are a single parent as well, and uh, you're you're used to providing for this uh, for a child. Uh, you're very supportive, very stable in that regard as well. A motherly aspect, but of course you could be a father as well, Pisces. It's not gender specific, but yeah, I feel like you're, you're used to the role of nurturer. You give and uh, you receive much back from your family, people who are blood relations, as a result of that. But there's been someone around you who perhaps thought of you as someone to take advantage of. Um, your vulnerability, your generosity was something to be... Um, was something to be taken advantage of. I get an opportunistic energy of someone around you. Ooh. This is again the need to protect what's yours, to make sure uh, that you don't let anyone in that could uh, take your crown. Uh, your crown is bought and paid for. Uh, wear it proudly. Uh, protect yourself, protect your your dependents protect uh, what you've built up in your life, protect your nest egg from people around you who are opportunistic in nature. Mm. Warning guys, it's a warning. I don't want you to go around feeling like, oh gosh, someone's going to come. No, I don't want you to be paranoid about it. Just be aware of the energy. Recognize that it's something that spirit wants you to be warned about. Forewarned is forearmed. You won't, you won't fall prey to this, okay? You'll see it coming. So there's no reason to fear it when it comes in. I think not having the knowledge here <coughs> would be the thing to fear. Now, Pisces, we've got this woman holding a heart and the five of swords in reverse. Yeah, it's people around you. You know what, I just get an energy that this person thought you were a, a vulnerable target a little bit like a, someone, like an eagle in the sky that sees a, a mouse from a, you know, a thousand feet and comes down and thinks it's vulnerable and picks it up. I get that you're not a mouse. I get rather you're a, a fast moving animal that, uh, that, that takes many twists and turns and cannot be, cannot be victim, victimized, cannot be grabbed by this person that's tried their luck with you Pisces I feel like this person is giving up on you because they're seeing you they're recognizing you you know well this person isn't what I thought they were they're much stronger than I thought they were and so they're they're getting out of your life um, but I say they're clearing the way for something much better to come along for you because this this negative energy gosh yeah I feel like this person unfortunately is going to go off and find another target. I feel that they have found another target. They could be narcissistic. Um, I feel like this person just goes from person to person, searching for vulnerable targets. Uh, I feel that they found one. Some of you may even get communication from this new person, this new victim. Uh, saying something to you which is very negative but you know you I don't feel that you're going to communicate with that person you're just going to say okay well you know they found another person feel a bit 
pitiful towards that individual and let it go because I feel like there's going to be some kind of difficult communication coming in. I don't feel it's in person. I feel it's like text or email or somebody finding you on your Facebook page or any other kind of social media and reaching out to you with some kind of brutal attack on, on you and your character. It's, it's some new person that, that's in this person's life. It's, it, they don't even know they're a target either. Mm. I think you can't even, you wouldn't be able to tell this person because they wouldn't believe you. So I think you have to kind of let it go, let them learn, learn from their mistake of getting involved with this person. Yeah, I've got family around you, community, Pisces, I feel like friends and family. Uh, this is you finding contentment with uh, blood relations. I feel people that uh, that nurture you, people who uh, care for you, and vice versa. This is a very you being devoted and loyal to family and friends. Uh, I feel like they're going to be compassionate towards you as well. Um, a lot of them, you, you may be a shoulder. To, you may be. A friend, I get a friend or a family member being a shoulder to cry on. Um, I get them being a source of healing for you. Yeah, it's 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 this narcissistic energy that's around you of this person healing from this this narcissistic energy. Now we've got you here, the goddess of the moon. It's that high intuitive energy with the Ace of Pentacles. Now this is giving and receiving nourishment to your soul. This is generous abundance. This is inclusive. This is very stable energy and you being open and receptive. It feels like you putting out to the world a request for something to come in, a new opportunity for you that is stable and secure. Uh, a job opportunity, an opportunity to start fresh, to start over in a stable environment. It feels it feels like uh, you re putting out to the world after being tested. I get you being tested. You know, this person coming in here uh, was a test for you, Pisces. But I get you passing the test. Those of you who are watching this tarot message are going to pass this test and you're going to focus on something brand new. Yes, uh, there's still optimism there, there's still the intuitive knowing that something better is going to come along for you. With action and the uh, six of wands, yeah, this is, this is success, this is successfully overcoming challenges, difficulties. Uh, this feels very much like um, Pisces, you being in the winner's circle, being crowned. Uh, again, I get you being someone who has uh, queen or king-like energy with this mastery card. Achie mastering something. Mastering Okay, I feel like this person came into your life in order for you to teach us, in order for you to learn rather, a spiritual lesson. Think of them as like a teacher. This teacher came into your life in order to, in order for you to learn this important lesson. You have learned it. So if you can see this situation, rather than see it as a disappointing time in your life, if you can turn that around and see how much you've learned, how much you've grown as a result of experiencing this, then that's going to give you pride in terms of your accomplishment. And it's going to make you feel a lot better about yourself. I don't want you to beat yourself up about getting involved with this person in the past. 
No, I want you to, to I want you to see how much you've grown in terms of not getting re-involved with them because I feel like this is the type of person that tends to come and go and come back in. You know, checking for vulnerabilities, seeing if you still are attached to them, if you still love them. Um, but this time you're in the driver's seat. I get that. You're, you're, you, this person. This person's going to be quite shocked in how much you've grown in confidence, Pisces. We've got the victory card again, victory with five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is you seeing your own worth, seeing your own value. Um, this is you seeing yourself uh, as the as the the eagle. This this feels like this feels like overcoming some past trauma. I feel like you're releasing some kind of karmic energy here, a karmic trauma bond or something that you had with someone here. Uh, you were with this person in order to release this, this trauma bond, which may have had to do with feelings of self-worth, a lack of confidence. This person may have seen you as someone who was vulnerable. Uh, they may have seen you in a vulnerable position, a vulnerable state. They may have taken it some kind of advantage or tried to, attempted to. But the thing is, I see you as someone who is going to come out the vic uh, with the victory here, not this person. They're not going to get what they want. Their, their self-interest is not going to be rewarded. Uh, I see you getting some kind of karmic victory over this person and getting the reward, getting the karmic reward. Okay, all right. Now we do have cornucopia and the hierophant. Now this is you learning the spiritual lesson. You know, you've been on this, this spiritual journey. For some reason, you've, unfortunately, you've had to experience this narcissistic energy. But because you're letting that go and you're discovering, discovering yourself, you're, you're becoming stronger, wiser. You're opening up to what's ahead for you. You're rising above what your experience was in the past, you're realizing you're not your past. Because you're doing all that, what's coming up for you is this cornucopia, which is abundance. Now, that may be in the fall or the autumn time, wherever you're located in the world. And I get, um, with, with all of this wisdom that you have, that you've learned from this, you can turn it into money. You can turn, you can use that in some way in order to uh, be financially strong. So it's not for naught that you've experienced this, because I feel it's it's led you to your uh, destiny. It's led you to your life path. Okay, let's take a look. We have the daughter romance and the five of wands in the reverse. Okay, so Pisces, I feel, well, the main energy that I'm picking up around this is one of self-preservation. You know, being guarded with your heart, being careful about who you give your heart to. That's, that's been the lesson for you, Spirit says. That's been the lesson for you. Uh, to know when to be generous, to be open, to be giving to people and, and who not to be. Now, I feel like you've mastered that skill. Uh, it's probably been something that's been hard fought for here, Pisces. You may have had uh, some really negative experiences with romance. But Spirit says, be cautious going forward. 
uh, about who comes towards you with, with um, seemingly to be in, romantically interested in you, but you don't have to be like super paranoid about it. Trust your intuition, trust your instincts. You'll know because you've mastered the ability, you've mastered your intuition, you've mastered the ability to know who is trustworthy and who isn't. So trust your instincts in that regard. Now Pisces, we've also got this energy of walking away with the High Priestess in reverse. This is this uh, similar energy to what I just picked up there actually. Uh, there's a feeling here of superficiality, walking away from anyone who is appearing to be a certain way but you know instinctively uh, that they're hiding something. Uh, this, this is running away. Uh, this, this, this feels like running from secretive people, uh, people who are not revealing themselves to you, uh, needing to be cautious about people who test you. Uh, even I, for some reason, Pisces, I'm getting like, um, <sighs> hmm, how do I put that? Um, Seeing where people try to test you. Uh, now that's in your work as well. Uh, for some of you, you're like a spiritual guide. Or you, you may even do tarot yourself. But you have people that test you to see if you're real or not. That, that kind of thing. That won't resonate with all of you. Now take that as it resonates. It could be that they're testing you on whatever skill that you have. But instinctively you'll know to keep away from those types of people. They could even be like mentally ill. I'm, I'm getting, I had to, I was trying to work out how to exactly say that. Well, Spirit says just say it, just say it. You'll know where someone could have some kind of mental illness and you, you know where to keep your distance from uh, people like that because I feel like it's like someone I don't know why I'm even getting that, but it, it feels like this. there could be someone around you who is um, wanting to keep secrets from you and, and you, you, you reveal those secrets uh, or you know their secret or instinctively you know their secret and so you're able to keep your distance, okay? And that person may even have some kind of... Um, illness, mental illness specifically, um, yeah, again won't be for everyone but uh, it seems like that's something that you're going to come across. Now we also have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron with the world. Well this is, uh, this is you following, uh, following your instincts, following your intuition uh, and being fulfilled, know, knowing the path ahead. Uh, stepping through the gateway, uh, finding finding fulfillment, knowing the right path. Um, yeah, it it feels like love, Pisces. It is it it doesn't feel like it, it it's it's been of value to you at least not recently. I get that instinctively. You know the who to avoid here. You're avoiding problems. You're avoiding this storm clouds, you're avoiding people around you who are um, seeing you as someone who is they can test or someone that they can take advantage of to see if they can, uh, yeah, look, um, gosh, I just see these, these people around you. It's not just one either. I, I feel like you're going to be uh, having a series of these people, but you're going you're gonna to over... Look, it's disappointing that you're even having to experience these tests. But it's all, te it's testing you to make sure that you don't get involved with the wrong people again, again. They're testing your skill, they're testing your skill level, testing your mastery. Yes, and even, some are even withholding, keeping secrets from you to test you in some way. And what's hidden here is the thinking man and the queen of wands. Well, this is you. This is you knowing what's what. Knowing when you're being tested. Knowing when someone's not to be trusted. 
trusting your instincts. Um, I get intelligence here. I get, uh, again, mastery, confidence, people coming to you because you have attained a level of wisdom that inspires. Yeah. Your wisdom can inspire other people, that your growth, what you've experienced in the past with these narcissistic energies around you, everything that you've experienced can lead to opening doors for you, which seems to involve also money as well, uh, teaching others, inspiring others to to follow in your footsteps to 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 walk away from uh, unfulfilling relationships and to instead walk your own path confidently boldly some of you may have been inspired by a mother or a mother figure or some of you are that inspiration towards a younger person There is this energy of spiritual protection around you, being protected on this, this path of yours. But you're meeting it halfway. You're not expecting spirit to bring in all the protection. You're meeting it halfway with this energy of protecting yourself. You know, you're not doing foolish things, taking unnecessary risks, getting involved with people who you know instinctively. Are, lead you, are leading you down a path of sorrow and regret. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, uh, Pisces. So let's get some advice cards for you. Uh, messages for Pisces moving forward, please, Spirit. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Yeah, a bit of a testing time for you. A bit of a testing time. Uh, if I had a magic wand and could have anything I desired in life, what would I choose? Well, that's you with this Queen of Wands, with your magic wand. Burn with desire. There is power in your desires. Let them be your fuel. Your desires are your soul's wings. It's time to take flight. So go inward. The answers are uh, within yourself. Trust your instincts. What do you desire? Choose what makes you happy and do that. You know? um, this is you doing what is best for you, doing you. I mean, yeah, how do you want to use this, this newfound strength, this newfound power of yours? You've learned your power, you've learned your value, you've learned your worth and you've learned what not to take on board. I get some of you are, are rejecting uh, a series of love offers in 2023 because you're choosing yourself above above anyone else and, and their desire to be with you. I'm getting that for some of my Pisces out there. Uh, anything else, Spirit? Any other advice here for Pisces? Self, the power of self-mastery. Oh, yeah. I get an unstoppable energy around you, Pisces. Um... Where can I create more space? Instead of filling yourself up with things uh, to do, create sacred space in your home, your mind, your lungs, and in your heart. Take time to just be. Do a clutter detox of your schedule, your home, your innermost self. Make space and clarity will come. Yeah. I feel that that's you down here. I feel that um, Pisces, you're making space for opportunities to come into your life by rejecting any kind of narcissistic energy, and especially because I feel some of you may have been involved with someone who uh, actually was with someone, or that there's some other person there, you know? It, it seems to be someone you're aware of, too. Someone who puts you in a third party. Um, it could be a wife, an ex-wife, you know, you, something that's brought to life. Well, I didn't know they had this person they're serious about, or I, or I didn't know this, you know. Uh, gosh. 
I even get that person maybe reaching out or you reaching out to that. I don't feel it's you reaching out to that person. For some of you it is. Some of you you're asking questions. Especially if it's someone that, that's a, that, you know, it's a wife or a, or someone that they, they see as their serious person. Some of you just see, just need to count your blessings. I get count your blessings, spend time with friends, family, count your blessings that this didn't work out with this particular person, this storm warning energy. Yeah, it's, it's like um, getting an intuitive ping that there's something up here, that there's some other person that they're serious about. And they're not serious about you, Pisces. Yeah. Um, for you, I feel it's all about thinking about yourself, uh, your child, if you have a child, or children. And overcoming an involvement with someone who I feel is, is some kind of narcissist or, or covert narcissist. Um, for a lot of you, this is this is something that someone that you've maybe met in December or in January. It seems to it seems to be someone that you've you've met recently. They may re remind you of someone that you've met, you've had an ex bad experience, a negative experience with in the past. But whatever this is that's coming in for you, I feel you you're going to need to rely on your instincts, your intuition to guide you away from this person, especially if you instinctively pick up or become aware of somebody else here that this person seems to be seeing as a serious contender in their life, like they have a partner already but they, they seem to want to, or especially if they're narcissistic, they may need a third on the, on the you know, always need attention from another person. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see, I'm going to get a couple of cards from this deck. I have to do it in two parts, so bear with me here, uh, Pisces. Message for Pisces moving forward in 2023. Message for Pisces. Message for Pisces. The universal flow. Slow down, breathe, take time to smell the roses. Well, yeah, allow yourself time to, to heal, you know, if an expectation isn't met, you meet this person, you're expecting it to go a certain way, you discover a secret, uh, it's painful, slow down, breathe, take time for yourself, take time to heal, create that sacred space. And let's see, I'm going to get another one. Message here for Pisces, please. Message for Pisces. Allow positive change. Allow this to move in and out of your life. Don't try to hold on to this energy, this person. Um, yeah, it feels like fairly fast moving energy, like something that comes in into your life tries their luck and then moves on. That It feels like that. Let's see, what else for Pisces in 2023? Message for Pisces. An education, yeah. It is an education, isn't it? But I feel like the education that you see, and for some it's, it's like a teacher. I mean, oh gosh, I hate to put that out there, but that's what I'm getting for some of you. It uh, could be someone who has the role of an actual teacher, quite literal. But if not, then it's definitely a spiritual teacher. Something that's meant to, to teach you a, this spiritual lesson about people who come in and the need, the need to protect your, your heart uh, and what you, what you treasure most, which is you, your family, uh, your, your child, Let's see, I'm going to get another card from this deck here, Pisces. Message for Pisces for 2023. 
the loving woman yeah that's you you're a beautiful caring beautiful soul you have much to give uh, again I get this is you the great nurturer don't lose your spirit you are protective energy towards a child uh, I get that uh, if you're looking to become a mother uh, not with this person but I feel like uh, eventually that will happen for you uh, there's a role that you were born to play uh, but a lot of you already have a child you're very devoted loving um, you're making a wise choice in, in, in letting this go not holding on to it you're moving towards abundance especially when it comes to okay what I'm getting here Pisces is when it comes to this universal flow the energy that you put out to someone if you don't get it back if there's a blockage there something dammed up restricted then I get you putting all of that energy that you would have given to that person to yourself and your and your dependence that being said there will come a time probably in the latter half of 2023 where you have another opportunity after you've had to let go of some people that are trying their luck with you that, are, that you can't trust I get something coming in that is truly of value to you I feel that you you need to trust your instincts about this person you'll know them by the fact that they are just as generous to you as you are to them the flow between the two of you is natural effortless and very generous in spirit very open and giving very supportive and very stable that's how you'll know this person when they come in and I feel like this is this is like someone who will really value your love and support that I get like a lone wolf energy or they have been alone for a while this is someone who isn't connected with any kind of third parties or anything like that I feel you this is going to be someone who, who really just wants a connection and wants to be with a, a stable loving partnership and the two of you I feel are going to find a beautiful humble home homey kind of energy there Pisces yeah so I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com i thank you so much for watching please take care have a happy healthy safe holiday period a prosperous and generous and abundant new year and thank you again for watching pisces bye for now